If you're looking for a way to build muscle in your upper body, then you're in the right place. This is 30 minutes with an optional 12 minute bonus, bonus section. So this can be a total of 40 minute upper body workout today. Your choice. If you only have 30 minutes, that's great. You'll get the work in and you'll feel fabulous. If you have the extra time, stick with me for the bonus section. I'm Renee, welcome to my channel. Make sure you like and subscribe. Let's start to warm up right away here. So just start to open and close your arms. So we're gonna warm up our upper body, get everything right, get our mind right, body, mind to body connection here with me today. Let's just open and close now. Arms go down, let's pull our shoulders back and forward. So today's workout consists of three circuits. Each circuit has four moves. Okay, let's first bring our hands back up here, let's twist. And each move will be done for one minute and we'll complete the circuit two times through. That's it. Then you'll get a one minute break and we'll go on to the next circuit and do the same thing. And that will be just about 27, 28 minutes. And then if you choose to stick with me for the bonus section, I'll reach your arms up overhead. Then we will complete all 12 moves through in a row with no breaks and that will be your bonus section and you'll be done. So it's just about 40 minutes here. Stretch your arms back, Ooh, opening everything up, just getting ready, kind of step it side to side. Start warming up even more, get your body moving. They want to add a little hops, okay? If you need a longer warm up, I'll link my warm ups here. You can go warm up, but you keep moving around. I'm gonna show you the first four moves, okay? So very first move will be push-ups, elevated push-ups. So I'm gonna do mine on a little step here. The higher your hands are, the less intense it will be. So you can always take it all the way up to the wall. You can take it onto a couch or an ottoman. I'm doing it right here on this step. You will be here for a minute. You want your elbows to go at a 45 degree angle and you want everything pulled in tight. You don't want your elbows drift out to the side. You want them at a 45 degree angle. If you need to, you can always come down to your knees and do the same thing, but just make sure you have a straight line from your shoulders all the way down. No dipping up in your hips or down. Okay, nice straight line. So that's our first move. Next move, we will hop up and you'll grab a set of weights and you will do tricep kickbacks. Just like that, you'll keep your elbows in place, they'll be your hinge, and you're just extending the bending and working the back of your arm. You'll again have a nice flat back, your navel will be nice and tight. And then you will either do one or two weights overhead, I'll show you. You can do two weights just like this, and you'll have them together, and we're gonna do tricep extension overhead, just like that. So you keep your elbows in nice and tight by your side, and if you choose to do two weights, just keep them pressing together. One weight, depending on what you have, you hold like this. And again, same motion, just keep your elbows squeezing inward. Triceps will really get burned out in this first circuit. And then I will be using my ropeless jump rope, or you do not need this at all, or a regular jump rope, and we will jump rope for one minute. That will be your fourth and final move. You can also simply high knees, march in place. If you do not feel like jumping today, no worries. And if you don't have any difference, you're just gonna do the motions. It'll keep your muscles working throughout that section. Okay, so get a sip of water. You should be warm now. And we're gonna get started right away. Hit my timer. Let's go. Hit the floor. Hands out. We have five seconds. Two, one. Here we go. Push up. Sit down and up. Lower and lift. Yes. Okay, so chin off your chest here. And you're bending and extending your elbow, working into your chest. So you're here for an entire minute. So it's tough. It's very tough, and that's okay. Push through it, and you do as many as you can on your toes until you have to come to your knees. You want to fatigue your muscles. Make sure that you put on some good music while you're working on your And just have some fun. Exercise should be fun. And that's what we're doing together. So you're working your chest. You have less than 30 seconds. Squeeze your glutes too. And shift your weight forward so that you're over your hands, okay? So that your chest has to take on all the weight of your body. Keep going. 10 seconds. Try to stay on your toes. Yes. Great job. One more. Nice work. Now hop it up. Grab your weights. Let's go. Elbows in, extend, and bend. So nice flat back here. Weight in your heels. Glutes push behind you. Nice. My triceps are already on fire here. So I'm using 10 pound weights. And it's gonna be, it's gonna be, they're gonna get heavy quite fast. 
breathe through this. I love working my upper body. Remember, the more muscle you have on your body, the faster your metabolism. Which means you need to make sure that you're fueling your body enough food. So you need cardio and strength training all together to make a well-rounded workout routine. And all those right here on my channel. Keep squeezing. 10 seconds. Remember, going overhead. I'm gonna try to keep both of these weights. We'll see how it goes. Last one. Okay, bring your weights together or drop a weight and just do one. Bend and extend. Okay, so I'm turning sideways so you can really see. Press your weights together and your arms are coming down and then right back up. Elbows stay in by your side. You have soft bend of your knees. Breathe through the shoulders away from your ears. You're fabulous. You're doing a great job. Keep working, keep breathing. Just about 30 seconds and then we go into our jump ropes. And that'll be our first round of circuit one. Done, amazing. Yes, keep working, keep going. Squeeze through the back of your arms every single time. On the way down and the way up. Keep your hips tucked under and heavy. So keep your core engaged. Never let that go. Wow, 10 more seconds. And then you're gonna grab your jump rope or no rope at all. Smile, last one. All the way up, great job. Set your weights up. I'm gonna grab my rope. Here we go, one minute, right here. That's it. Okay, so after these, we have one more time through those four moves. So keep your elbows in by your side here. And your arms are at about a 90 degree angle. So you're gonna feel this still in your biceps. That's what I love about adding jump rope moves into our upper body workout because you're getting cardio, but you can still feel your arms work because they have to control this motion. Smile. Yes. Less than 30. You got this. You're strong. You're with me. We're in this together. Getting stronger every moment. 15 seconds. Nice work. Yes, shoulders away from your ears. Pull your shoulder blades together. Smile. When you smile, it makes you feel good. Three, two, one, done. Okay, down. Here we go. Push-ups. Bend and extend. Yes, no time to waste. You just have four minutes, four moves, and then you get a minute break. So you know these moves. You learn them. Now execute them even better than before. You should know what you're doing. Squeeze your glutes and your core a little bit tighter. Maybe even think of squeezing the tops of your thighs. And then you want to go onto your tippy toes so that your chest is over your hands. 20 seconds. Let's go. Let's do this. You can and you will. If you need to come to your knees, you can. Or if you see I'm pausing at the top, it's getting tough. It's getting tight, but it's so worth it. One more. Great job. Tricep kick picks. Let's go. Weights. Extend and bend. Extend and Woo. Pull your navel in. Nice and tight. Breathing's heavy, but that's okay. We came to work, and this video is no different. You should be able to wiggle your toes. Your weight should be in your heel. Your upper arms are not moving. The hinge is from your elbow. Yes. Squeeze, find your glute. Longest arm on the extension. So think length over height here. Yes. 20 seconds. Triceps are screaming. Breathe through this. Nice work. Yes. Pull your navel in a little bit tighter. Protect your lower spine, so don't forget about that. One more. Then arms overhead. Weights together or drop the weight if needed. Bend and extend. Lower and lift. Great job. Last strength move in the circuit. And then you're going to do jump rope and then one minute break. You've got this, I promise. Keep going, keep elbows in. Nice and tight. 
just over 30 seconds. Squeeze, press in toward the midline. So if you're holding two weights, press your weights together. If you have one weight, press in on the weight from each hand. You'll feel a stronger sensation in the back of your arms. Retuck your hips, lose the curve of your lower spine. You want to naturally curve it when you get tough, but pull your navel in. Yes. Less than 10. Ready? Five. Four. Come on. Three. Two more. Two. One. Done. Grab your jump rope. There you go. Yes, this is it. Sorter one, almost done. Wow, after this, you've already done eight minutes. You're amazing. Keep going with me. Smile. And then you get one minute break. I'll show you the next four moves while you're taking your break. During your break, get little sips of water and reconnect, recommit to the rest of the workout. Whenever you have time for a break in your workout, that's when you get your mind right once again. Okay? Just over 20 seconds. Yes, elbows are by your side. My biceps on fire, triceps on fire, everything. Keep going, keep bouncing. Less than 10. Here you go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Down. Set those down. Whew. Okay, you get your sips, you rest. First move here, up, up. Down, down. So you'll be coming back down to the floor, starting in plank, and you will just go forearm, forearm, hand, hand, okay? First round through, you'll do, you'll start with your right side, second round through, left side. Then we're coming up, and you will do shoulder press. So one way in each hand, palms forward, press, and extend, okay? Lateral raises will be next, out, and lower. Now, if you need to, you can bend your arms. This will make less tension on your shoulders, less resistance. So whatever you need, this will be the greatest resistance. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. And then the final move is jack press. Hold one weight between your palms. Jump again and press up. Okay, if you don't wanna to jump today, simply tap it up. Okay, we're ready. Down to the floor. Let's go. Forearm, forearm, hand, hand. Lower, lower, up. Great job. So I'm starting with my right for this round. My next round, I'll start with my left. Yes, breathe. Our heart rate is staying high because we're not getting much breaks or working through the entire time. But use those minute breaks that you do get to your advantage. Make sure that you're letting your heart rate come down, that you're refreshing your body because this is not easy. But it's worth it and it's amazing. And you're going to show yourself just how strong you are. Squeeze your glutes. You want to try to rock as little as possible. Yes. 10 seconds. You're going to feel your chest muscles even more. One more. Down, up, up. Great job. Grab your weights. Shoulder press. Here you go. Press and low. Up and down. Throughout this workout, I'm using 10 pounds for the most part. I do have five pound weights right here in case I need to take it down a notch. Form is most important, so if you need to drop weight, make sure that you do that, okay? This one here is getting tough quickly. My shoulders are tired from all the push-ups and everything else. It's okay. And the next one, lateral raises, I will drop it down to five pounds. I can tell but I will need to, otherwise my form will suffer. 15 seconds. You can and you will. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more, one, great job. Okay, switching weights, lateral raises, here you go. Out and lower. So nice control. Just lifting to shoulder height and coming down. Keep your shoulders down now. Don't lift them up by your ears. 
Not good for you. You wanna have the best form possible so you can get the most out of your workouts. Yes. Nice work. Breathe into this. Whew. Upper body is on fire. And you smile because you can and you will. Keep going. 10 seconds. Yes, one more. Great job. Okay, grab one weight between your hand and here you go, jumping jack as you press. Remember your option, you do not have to jump. As always, I give you alternatives. So they just take the modification instead of quitting because you're not gonna quit on yourself, here or ever. Breathe. Yes, just over 30 more seconds. It's so amazing to add some cardio bursts into our strength training. I love this combo. Working your inner outer thighs too. Shoulders, entire your body. Pull your navel in, squeeze your glutes. Again, still protecting your lower spine. Yes. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Set your weight down, down to the floor, up, up, down, down. Here you go. Lower, lower, lift, lift. Forearm, forearm, hand, hand. Yes, you're in it. Second time through. For round two. Nice work. Squeeze your glutes. Catch your breath. Yes, I know it's tricky to catch your breath as we're still working hard. But try. 30 seconds. You can always take a wider stance with your feet and that will help to balance and control you so that your hips aren't wobbling. Wow. Keep going. 15 more seconds. So it's tough. Wow. Yes, that's all I can say is wow. Last set. Great job. Up to standing, grab your weights, shoulder presses. Here we go. Press and low. Extend and back. Okay, I can feel it already. I'm going to do a drop set here in a moment and lower down. Real quick though, no break. Just a quick switch of my weights. I'm gonna try to make it to the 30 second mark. Okay, I'm gonna do one more of these. Okay, quick switch. There you go, okay? That's called the drop set. It's great to do. It allows you to try heavier weights, but always switch it down when needed. And I could feel that my form was starting to, to go. So I switched to my five pounds. And that is what's gonna prevent injury. Yes, last one. Okay, lateral raises, here you go. Lift and lower. Wow. After this move, just one more. Jack press. That's it, okay? Then you get a minute break. And only one more circuit. And if you choose to be done after, that's fine. You'll get 30 minutes of intense upper body. If you're sticking around for the bonus, you're amazing. Just know that, but you're amazing with just the 30 minutes. Whatever you can give is worth it. Remember, no workout is too short. You give what you can, and each and every step you're getting healthier, always, and stronger. So be proud of whatever you can give today, of whatever you can do. And don't let anyone take that away from you. Less than 10 seconds. Okay, after this, one more all the way up and down. All the way up, now take it really slow down. Great job. Okay, switch it to 10. Here we go. One minute, press jacks. Yes, you can and you will. It's just one minute of your day, right here, right now. And we smile. After this, you get one minute break. Keep going. Press out with your outer thighs. 
squeeze in with your inner thighs. Press up with shoulders, chest back. 30 seconds. You're going. You're strong. Smile. Yes. We're here for it. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I'm done. Okay, one minute. Catch your breath, little sip of water, and then we're going into our last circuit. Wow, okay. Just need one more sip, then I'll show you. Okay, bicep curl wide. So arms are going to be in a low diagonal, elbows in by your side, palms are facing out. And you're just gonna bend and extend. That's your first move. Whew, my heart rate's high. Can't catch my breath, okay? Second move is bent over a row. So you just pull and lower, lift and lower. Next move, we're coming down. You'll grab one weight, legs will be at 90 degrees. You'll be on your forearm or rest your head, whatever works for you. Weight in front of you, arm is in a half O position. You're just gonna open and close. First round, we'll do just the left arm. Second round, we'll switch. And then you'll flip over for donkey kicks. Okay, that's it. Up to standing if you've been down. And let's go. Bicep curl and extend. Yes. We're in it. Circuit three, round one. So we're here for eight minutes straight. Eight minutes of muscle burn. Muscle build, burn fat. Just feel good. Remember, that's what workouts should give you the strength, give you the endurance to keep going. Find your heavy tailbone here. That will help you pull your navel up and tailbone goes down. You have 20 seconds and biceps are popping. Biceps are screaming in the best possible way. Shoulders away from your ears. You have 10 seconds right here. And then we're bending over, bent over a row. That's it. Okay, bend over. Arms are parallel, palms face in, abs in. Pull and extend. So before you pull your elbows back, make sure that you're squeezing your shoulder blades together. Make sure that motion comes first so that this movement is coming from your upper back. Yes. Nice work. This helps with your posture. Stand tall. Okay. Your hips are pushed behind you. You should be able to wiggle your toes. 30 more seconds, and then we're hitting the floor, okay? You might need to take your weight down. I'm gonna try for the tens. The next position, isolate your back so nicely, but sometimes you need to use a lighter weight. You just have a few more right here. Last one. Okay, I have my five nearby. Coming down, find your position. Legs in 90, here you go. Open and close. Open and close. Okay. I'm gonna switch. I can just feel that if I keep that heavier weight, it's not gonna be right. My upper back is not doing what it's supposed to be doing. Okay? Keep your navel in, even though you're on the floor, shoulder out of your ear on both sides, but especially the side of the hand on the floor. You have a tendency to sink into it, and you don't want to do that. I love this move for isolating your upper back and shoulder. It really helps. 10 more seconds, and then into donkey kicks, and that is the last move of this round. Okay, that's it. Okay, flip it over. You ready? Hands on the floor. Here we go. Kick heels to your glute and bend it. Yes. This one is tough, but it's so good. Beautiful. Okay, you can always 
take it and just do like that and just try to put weight in your hands if for some reason the hop is not looking right. You could also come here and simply do this and that'll give you that same muscle work, okay? So you choose what works for you in this moment. You have 15 more seconds. Nice work. One more. Whew, that's it, okay. Bicep curls. I'm gonna grab my hands. Here we go. Bend and extend. Yes, okay. Four minutes. Then you get a minute break. But after these four minutes, you are done with just about 30 minutes of strength workout, just under. But if that's all you have time for today, amazing. Just make sure that you stretch and you recover and move on with your day. I have some mobility and stretching videos here on my channel. Maybe you're adding some cardio in after this. Great. I've got tons of rebounding mini trampoline videos here too. Nice work. Chill bones heavy, remember. We have 15 more seconds. Then we're making our way down to the floor. This time, right arm is going to work. If you were doing my same arm, just make sure you do the opposite. One more. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the tens like I did on the other side. Here we go. Open and close. Yes. So your legs are at 90 degrees. I'll support you. Okay, switching. Beautiful, yes. Okay, shoulders out of your ears, especially on the side of the hand on the floor. And you lift up. Great job. You should feel your upper body. Feel your core still. Nice work. Donkey kicks are next, or you know your alternatives. Yes. Nice work. And maybe you do a little mix of both. Keep going, keep working. And you smile. Last one. Okay, flip it over. Here you go. Okay. Do so you wanna try to kick up high enough that your hips go over your shoulders? And that's where you're gonna get the most strengthening on your shoulders. Now remember, you can always take a few, a few presses, and you're in a pike position with your shoulders and then get right back into it. Okay, I want you to do what feels good for you. That's why I give you lots of fudge. Remember, you can always just take one foot up and then the other, just keep the weight in your upper body. Okay? Yes, pull your navel in and pick up. Almost through, just a few more. Okay, one more. That's it. One minute break here. If you're done, amazing. You did that. If you're sticking with me, take the minute, little sips, breathe through it. Whew, I'm a sweaty mess in the best way possible. This one is kicking my booty. <laughs> kicking my upper body. We have about 40 more seconds here. And remember the first circuit, push-ups, tricep kickbacks, overhead extensions, and then jump rope. Whew, I'm sweaty. And we're gonna go through these 12 moves with no break. Yes, it's gonna be hard. It's going to be tough. You might have to take it down on your weights, which is fine. You do whatever you need to do. Breathe in through your nose out through your mouth. We have about 10 seconds. I'm gonna start making my way down to the floor. Everything's kind of shifting here a little bit. Okay, here we go. Hands underneath your shoulders. Here you go. Bend and extend. Remember, the higher up your hands are on a higher surface, the less intense this will be. So choose your surface. If you need to come down to your knees at any point, great. Just make sure you have one straight line. No dipping in your hips, which means pull your navel up, tuck 
your hips under nice and tight and squeeze your thighs. Breathe, 30 seconds and then no more push-ups. That's it, shift the weight forward, lead with your chest, chin is off your chest. I know, so much to think about. Push-up is a full body. But focusing on your upper back. Yes. And you can see I'm slowing down. It's okay, one more. Great job, okay. Make your way to standing, tricep, kick back. Hinge, extend, and bend, beautiful. Remember, glutes go behind you, so stick your glutes behind you. Weight is in your heels, and you wiggle your toes. And you bend and extend your arms. Shoulders away from your ears, and gaze just a few feet in front of you. You wanna think straight line from the top of your head down to your tail. Yes, squeeze your elbows in. Remember, upper arms are not moving. This work, it's coming from the back of your arms, but it's hinging from your elbows. Maybe pause for a second on the extension. Woo! Pause and then bend. Pause and then bend. So squeeze your muscle and then bend. Less than 10 seconds. I just took it up a notch. One more. Great job. Okay. One or two weights overhead. Here you go. Bend, extend. Elbows in by your side. This is tough. Breathe through this. 45 seconds right here. If you need to drop set, take it down, you can. Remember that always. Nice work. 30 seconds left. My triceps are screaming. After this, we have jack presses. Backs of your arms are such a hard muscle group to build muscle in, so we're doing it here. Yes, keep going, a few more. Okay, one more after this. Squeeze everything in, extend, okay. Drop one weight, one here, here we go. Jack press, one minute. Last jab presses of this workout. Yes. And then we're coming down to up, up, down, down. We'll do 30 seconds leading with the right and 30 seconds leading with the left. Not too bad. We have 30 seconds right here. Yes. Go faster. Remember, you don't have to jump. You can tap it side to side. Still amazing. You're getting tired, so don't quit on me. Just modify your rest, and then get right back into it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, done. Okay, down to the floor. Okay, into your plank. Here we go. Forearm, forearm, hand, hand. Yes, 30 seconds. Leading with the side, then we'll switch. Wow. Maybe your feet can go wider to help your hips from rocking. This is tough. Maybe you're on your knees. Just fine. Same rule like in your push ups. Straight line. Okay, last one. Go. Other side. So now you're leading with the opposite arm. Which means you have less than 30 seconds. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your lower body, keep you in mind. Yes, 15 seconds. You can, and you will. Less than 10. Right here, we're half enough to over the presses. That's it. Okay, grab your weights. I have different sizes. Here we go. Press and lower, extend and bend. Okay, heart rate is soaring through the roof. A few more and I'm switching, drop setting. Okay, I can 
feel my form. That's it, quick. No time to waste. Still trying to keep tension on your muscles. Wow. This bonus round is a kicker. Truly is our grand finale. We're almost done. Six more minutes, six more moves. Yes. Three, two, and one. Okay, lateral raises, here you go. Lift and lower. Nice work. Yes. You can, you've got this. Shoulders away from your ears. Nice work. Breathe. Breathe into this. And you smile. Five more moves after this. Just over 30 seconds right here. And guess what? We've done jack presses. We forgot to do jump rope. So after this, we're going into jump rope. I accidentally switched those, but that's all right. Still amazing work. No worries. Some of you might've caught me. That's okay. It happens. But trust me, the work, still amazing. You are wonderful. This upper body workout is intense. One more, hold it at the top. Three, two, one, lower. Grab your jump rope this time. Here we go. One minute of jump rope. Elbows in by your side. Arms are at 90. Yes. After this move, after the jump rope, we're going into wide bicep curls. And after jump rope, we only have four more moves. Beautiful. Great work. This 40 minute workout is perfect to build strength in our upper body. And get our heart right up. Burn some fat. Keep us going. Just little taps with your balls of your feet. Remember, you can always just march it out if you don't want to jump. So many options. 15 seconds, then grab your weights for wide bicep curls. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Done. Okay. Ready? Here we go. Bend and extend. Catch your breath. And remember, you might need to go down and wait. We're tired. We've done a lot. We have four more minutes. That's it. And our bodies are at their end. But we're gonna push just a little bit harder, a little bit longer. 30 more seconds, so if you need to drop set, maybe that's what you're waiting for. Do it. I'm trying to stick with these, but it's not easy. But I'm trying. Less than 20. Elbows in by your side. I'm slowing it down. Pause at the bottom and then curl it up. Yes. Feel your biceps. Feel your heavy tailbone. So pull your navel up towards your ribcage. That's it. Bend over. Arms are long. Abs are in. Elbows pull and lower. Lift and lower. Yes. Nice work. Remember, we get to come down to the mat. We're going to do 30 seconds on one side and then 30 seconds on the other side. Okay? So a little bit quicker for the next move. So maybe you want to try a heavier weight. You do you. Just about 20 seconds left here. Remember, shoulder blades come together first, and then extend. So using your upper back. Yes. A few more. Nice control. One more, just like that. Beautiful. Okay. Coming down, I have my lower weight. Here we go. Lift and lower. Beautiful. Okay. So I've got a heavier weight here because I know it's only 30 seconds, but I still might have to change it out. Okay. Yep, switching. So I got 15 seconds in with the heavier weight, which is amazing, but because this one is hard. So 
such an isolated move. Do a few more. One more in here. Okay, quickly switch sides. Here we go. Lift and lower. Okay, so I'm trying a few with the heavier weight just like I did on the other side because I know I'm not here for very long. I'm gonna do one more like that. And then switch weights. One more move, donkey kicks, okay? Make sure you're lifting with your upper back. Last one. Okay, here we go. Last move here, let's go. Up and down. Now remember all your options. Maybe you do like four donkey kicks and then four feet. One, two, three, four. And then you're at least trying both. That's what I'm gonna stick with. One, two, three, four. Now four donkey kicks. One, two, pull your navel in. Three, four. Ready? One, two, three, four. 10 seconds. One, two, three, one more. Four. That's it. You did it. Wow. That was just about 40 minutes of upper body burn. That was intense. Proud of you for sticking through, especially through that bonus section. But even the 30 minutes was tough. Hope you enjoyed that. Make sure that you are resting and recovering after these workouts. That was tough. So we're gonna do just a quick little cool down, but you're gonna need more. I'll link my mobility stretching videos here at the end. Just kind of step it side to side. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. We have to get our heart rates down. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Maybe you're here and you wanna do a little more cardio. I have tons of cardio videos, especially some mini trampoline ones that you would love. I have some 15, 20 minute, maybe you just wanna tack on a little bit. Do you do you. Okay, stop your feet. Arms reach down, take a deep breath in, arms overhead. And exhale, arms reach down. Inhale, and exhale. Let's do a little cross arm. So bring one arm across. The other arm grabs on below or above your elbow, do not hold on to the joint. Just stretching a little bit here before we end. Okay, switch sides. Now it's just a little stretching, opening up your shoulder. Feels good. You're gonna need longer than this. You wanna make sure that you're always stretching out your muscles. Place both hands behind your lower back. Send your arms long. Opening up your chest helps with your posture. Okay, that's it. Like I said, make sure that you're stretching after this. Tons of stretching videos, more coming your way. Let me know in the comments below how you like this and what else you want to see from me. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great rest of your day. Like, subscribe. See you next time. Goodbye, everybody.